today i am going to present image encryption algorithm using chaotic functions and dna encoding so first what is image encryption the process of transferring digital images securely is called image encryption in this process we convert the original image into an encrypted form using a specific key and then send it to the receiver and the receiver gets the encryption key and then with the use of that encryption key it decrypt the encrypted image and get back the original image the major advantage of this image encryption is that no one can get the original image from the encrypted one without the specific key there are mainly two phases in image encryption algorithm in the first phase we change the original image into an encrypted form by changing the every pixel intensity values according to some rules and in the second phase we retrieve the original image back from encrypted ones by retrieving the original pixel intensity values according to the same rules in this presentation i am going to focus on chaotic based systems and dna encoding chaotic based system are very useful for image encryption due to their sensitive dependence on initial values resulting in unpredictable behavior over time and dna encoding is providing an extra layer of security upon them the main feature of dna encoding is that it consumes low power and it allows parallel processing now let's see what type of chaotic functions are used in this technique here is the function of tent map here r is in the range of 0 to 2 but according to tent maps bifurcation diagram if we select r in the range of 1.4 to 2 we get the highly randomness in the values of functions and another initial value is x0 according to x0 and r tent map produces random values of xn the other chaotic function is 1d rainy map and this is the rainy map function the initial values are x0 a b and alpha a and b are in the range of 0 to 10 and alpha is in the range of 0 to 12345 in chaotic functions the next values that are produced in this function are based on initial values and it is unpredictable and that's why we are using chaotic functions in this technique now let's see how dna encoding works in this algorithm so we all know that dna has four bases a t g and c and according to watson crick model of dna a and t are complement of each other and so is c and g if we assign bases of dna to four binary numbers 00 01 10 and 11 we get 24 types of possible configurations but if we impose the complementary condition according to watson crick model we only get eight types of ways and these are the eight types of ways we are going to use in this algorithm these are basically eight rules and according to these rules 
we convert binary form of 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 according to this rule to the DNA basis now let's see how DNA operations work so there are mainly three types of operations we can perform on DNA basis addition subtraction and XOR operation so here is given the operation table according to rule 1 and we get the same operation tables with different rules from 1 to 8 now let's see how image encryption algorithm works at first we are given plain image and an encryption key from the user from that key with the help of SHA-256 algorithm, we are going to generate hash value of 64 characters in hexadecimal format. From that hash value, we are going to generate initial values of Rani map and tent map. And then using recursion, we are going to generate Rani map sequence and tent map sequence. Using the random map sequence, we are going to generate key image. Key image is basically plain image, but the each pixel intensity of the plain image is transformed using the random map sequence into some other value. Now using the tent map, we are going to encode original image and key image tent map values are basically generating values between 0 to 7 which is basically DNA rules and according to that rule we have to encode original image as well as key image and then we have to perform DNA operations addition subtraction or XOR operation according to the same tent map values but in mod 3 after encoded this intermediate image we have to decode this image from DNA values to 0 to 255 pixel intensity values and then we have we finally get our encrypted image so here is the steps required for encryption algorithm as well as decryption algorithm. Decryption algorithm is nothing but the reverse step of an encryption algorithm. In decryption algorithm, we get encrypted image and key from the user. And from that key, through SHA-256, we get the hash value. And from that hash value, we get the initial values of chaotic functions and from that initial values we are going to generate Rani map sequence and tent map sequence through Rani map sequence we are going to generate key image and through tent map sequence we are going to encode key image as well as original encrypted image into DNA basis and then through the reverse binary operations like if we used the binary operation plus or minus in the encrypted version we are going to use minus and plus in the decrypted version and XOR is the self reverse operator so from that we are going to decode the intermediate image using the tent map sequence and we get the original image back so here is the final example how encrypted image is looks like and if we use the decryption tool with the different key then we not get the initial image back but we get some random image so here is our image encryption code let's see how to encrypt or decrypt an image
here is our website you can explore this to learn image processing concepts here is the image encryption page you can see the detailed algorithm here now let's go to image encryption tool choose an image enter the key and to submit since this process is very time consuming you have to wait up to 2 to 5 minutes if the if your input image is very large this is one of the main disadvantage of this algorithm so here is the encrypted image you can download it now let try to decrypt this image choose the encrypted image and select the decrypt option and enter the same key So here you can see we get our original image back. So now let's decrypt this image using the wrong key. Choose an image and select a wrong key. So I add only one word. Now let's see. 